क्लास एट सिविक्स मैं आर एस प्रसाद आज आप लोगों को चैप्टर नाइन फॉरन पॉलिसी ऑफ इंडिया कराने जा रहा हूँ चलिए देखिए पहले ये फॉरन पॉलिसी प्रेम नेहरू जी पहले विदेश गए हुए उस समय बातचीत जो भी चल रही है तो पहले हम इस पॉलिसी से संबंधित कुछ जनरल बातें देख लेते हैं सो सर्टेन रूल्स आर फॉर्म टू मेंटेन रिलेशन विद अदर कंट्रीज इट इज कॉल्ड फॉरन पॉलिसी तो फॉरन पॉलिसी की डेफिनेशन यही है वी नीड वीजा एंड पासपोर्ट टू गो टू फॉरन कंट्रीज पासपोर्ट इज एन आइडेंटिटी कार्ड फोर पर्सन टू गो टू फॉरन कंट्री वीजा इज परमिशन लेटर फॉर द फॉरन कंट्री वेयर वी गो ईच कंट्री हैज इट्स ओन फॉरन पॉलिसी इन 1962 चाइना अटैक इंडिया एन ए एम एंड पंचशील आर द मेन ऑर्गेन ऑफ इंडिया फॉरन पॉलिसी बाई नॉन एलिगन एन ए एम मोमेंट वी मीन टू कीप अवर सेल्फ अवे फ्रॉम एनी पर्टिकुलर ब्लॉक पंचशील मीन्स फाइव प्रिंसिपल्स ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ मई 1954 an agreement was made between india and china what is the foreign policy so answer is yes when one country makes some rules and regulations to maintain relation with other countries it is called foreign policy of that nation what do you understand by non elegant element chaliye answer hai the full form of nam is non elegant moment after the second world war the world was divided into two groups first usa second soviet russia newly independent nation was joining any of the group america was representing capitalist nations third soviet russia was representing socialistic views india was also newly independent nation but she decided not to join any group or bloc thus not to join any group or bloc is called non alignment or non elegant moment next question hai to protect india's independent foreign policy how is non elegant helpful to write your ideas answer hai india decided not to join any of the groups of the world and follows its own foreign policy india followed the policy of nam non aligned movement non aligned movement hai ye its means to follow independent policy non alignment was helpful for india because she was free to make her own decisions regarding foreign is this was india known that uh, to join any of the group means uh, to divide the world peace into two parts and to lose her independence so india did not join any of the groups in international matter india creates relations uh, independently and not by ideas or discrimination by following an am india is not under pressure of any country while taking decision regarding the foreign relations why did india need the policy of non alignment non alignment so answer is the need of non alignment was felt by india because of following reasons first step protect independence india was newly independent nation so see 
never wanted to join any blog and spoil the relation with other blog. Second hand, opposition of colonism. India was colony of British and during the time of suffered a lot. India was working. India was knowing that if she join any block, there is always possibility of imperialism and colonialism. So the wanted to keep herself away from all there. Third had to avoid wars. The two blocks were rival of each other and other was always changes of the third world war. India wanted to keep herself away and so he did not join any block. Fourth number economic regions. India was economically after independence. If she would have joined any one group, she would have not got the support of other. But India wanted financially help from both the nations. And so she decided to be non aligned National security. To joining any block means to put our national security in danger. From international security point of view, the path of non alignment was the best. Next question I mentioned the five principles of punch seal. So answer here follows are the principles of punch seal. First term to respect for each other integrity. It means to respect all the country's decisions taken by the government and also respect its sentiment. Also to respect the integrity and independence of the nation respectfully. Second hand, not attacking. It means not to attack on country's political boundary. Number third hand, not interference. Not to interfere in each other international matter if a country makes rules and regulations for her Citizen, others should not interfere in it and should not try to change it. Number fourth, equality and mutual benefit. It means one nation should not feel superior or inferior without any reason. All should respect each other, think of welfare for other nations. Number fifth, hai, peaceful coexistence. It means all the nation should exist peacefully and help each other in need. Next question hai, in our idea, which point should be kept in mind while preparing the foreign policies of the country? So answer is here. While preparing the foreign policies, one should keep the following points in mind. Number first, national security. While making foreign policies, security of nation should be given priority. Especially, weightage should be given to it. Second, relation with neighbors. While making Foreign policies, one should keep in mind that it should not disturb the mutual relation with other countries. For safety and security, we should have friendly relation with our neighboring countries. Number third, economic securities. On foreign policy, only international relations of any nation depends while Making foreign policies, we should keep in mind the economic security of the nation. Number fourth, feeling of self-respect. While making foreign 
policy, we should keep in mind the feeling of self-respect also. We should make such policy which will not hurt the self-respect of any nation. Number seven hai question ka ye name the foreign policy of India framed in 1962. So answer hai India had not framed any specific policy before 1962. But after 1962 a new policy was framed by Indian because China attacked our country. The policy was known as non aligned policy of India. After 1962, India changed planning in defense and foreign policy. She also increased its army and weapons. Next, fill in the blanks. So, chalte hain, dekhte hain. Pahle number hai, without, jahan par aega, passport. Passport. Without passport and visa Without passport and visa, we cannot go to foreign country. Number second hai, security of nation is everything. Matlab yaan security aega. Security of nation is everything. Number third me aata hai in 1962. Kyunki yehi hua tha, yeh sara kuch bana tha hamara. 1962, China attacked India. Number fourth hai, not to join any block is called non-alignment. Bolte hai, isko non-alignment hai yeh. Non-alignment. So it is non alignment. Next after fifth me dekhte hain ye. Ye hai punch se. Punch sale is an important base of foreign policy of India. Next are ye right to or false. So dekhte hain bachcho first dekhte hain punch seal agreement took place between India and Pakistan. So it is your false statement. Second hai to go to foreign we need permission which is non passport. So it is also first false hai ye visa hota hai bachcho ye. Number third, foreign policy is made by foreign minister by his own views. Apne views pe to nahi bana sakta, so ye bhi statement false hai. Number fourth hai, India gave birth to non-elephant. Ye to hai, kyunki India hai is tarah se chalo kiya tha isne. India gave birth to non-elephant. Chali dekhte hai, number fifth hai, after the world war, the word was divided into two blocks. So, ye aapka two hai, kyunki two hi blocks mein hua tha. What do you mean by visa and passport? Chaliye hala ki pehle piche bata diya, maine fir bhi dekhte hain. Passport kya hai? It is an identity card issued by the foreign minister, ministry to a person who wants to go the foreign country on passport the full information of a person along with his photograph is given it is sealed by ministry visa foreign ministry gives permission to any person to go to foreign country it is called visa visa jo hai permission hai ye explain the foreign policy made by india so, answer hai, the following policies are made by India. Number one hai, nations should respect other nations. Boundary, it is our most important principle for security, development and 
peace it is needed that one should not attack on other number second one should not attack on other and also should not interfere in one's internal matter number third is to respect and give equal attention to all the countries of the world number four is not to join any of groups of the world is india's most important foreign policy what changes we made in foreign policy in india after the attack of china china ne 1962 mein attack kiya tha usi time se change hui hai so answer hai in 1962 china attack india that time india was not fully prepared india never thought that china would do like this because she always considered china as her friend she never thought that she was having any enemy before the attack she was not in favor of keeping arms and medvedson munition for her safety but after the attack she realized her fault and it opened her eyes so india had a make some change in her foreign policy foreign policy she increased her military and weapons also isne military aur weapon ko banana chalu kar diya fir isse pehle sabse shantipurn desh tha nahi attack karna hai nahi kuch karna hai na weapon banana hai lekin jab china ne attack kar diya 1962 mein to iske baad inko policy change karni padi aur fir se nayi policy banayi कि नहीं हम वेपन भी बनाएंगे और अपनी सुरक्षा के लिए जितनी मिलिट्री बढ़ाई जा सकती है उसको भी हम बढ़ाएंगे इसी के साथ बच्चों लेसन समाप्त हो रहा है नीचे ये लाल का बटन दिखाई दे रहा है इसको जरूर दबा के सब्सक्राइब करें वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो तो लाइक करें कमेंट सेक्शन में कमेंट्स करना ना भूलें और ज्यादा से ज्यादा बच्चों को शेयर करें जिससे ज्यादा बच्चों को फायदा हो सके और इस बेलाइकन को भी दबा लें जिससे कि मैं नया वीडियो डालू तो उसका नोटिफिकेशन तुरंत आपको मिल सके मेरे चैनल को देखने के लिए आप लोगों का बहुत बहुत थैंक्स इसी के साथ मैं आर एस प्रसाद आज का वीडियो यहीं समाप्त करता हूं मिलता हूं नए वीडियो में नए टॉपिक के साथ तब तक थैंक यू हैव नाइस डे